Well, hello there, all you soon-to-be parents. Welcome to Two Rivers Public Health Department, where today we'll spill the beans on what to expect when you're expecting, with a little laugh here and there, of course. We will sprinkle in essential health facts to keep you informed and laughing through the journey. Hopefully. So, it all starts with that little stick, you know, the one you nervously pee on, the pregnancy test. Did you know that pregnancy tests detect the hormone HCG? It's like the secret little handshake between you and your baby confirming their existence. HCG is often called the pregnancy hormone because it's made up by cells formed in the placenta, which nourishes the egg after it's been fertilized and becomes attached to the uterine wall. After the initial shock, good or bad, you start to feel a bit queasy. Literally, morning sickness, or as I like to call it, all day, every day sickness. Did you know it's more common in the morning because your stomach is empty? It's your body's way of saying, fill her up. Ironic. Personally, I think it might be the way our bodies remind us that pickles and ice cream are not a balanced diet. But don't worry, it usually gets better after the first trimester. The further along you get, the more you start to show. Your belly grows, and you'll start waddling like a penguin. You'll find yourself getting stuck in your car seatbelt and mood lighting as a bowling ball holder. But hey, the bigger the bump, the more ice cream you can justify, right? And don't forget to blame those hormones for your fabulous penguin strut. Speaking of weird cravings, get ready for some bizarre combinations. These cravings, in fact, can be triggered by hormone fluctuations. So don't be surprised if you suddenly need sardines with everything. You'll surprise yourself by eating things you never thought you'd enjoy, like olives and chocolate or mustard on watermelon. Just go with it. It's science. Let's take a peekaboo, shall we? Aw, there it is. Your little one who currently resembles a tiny alien trying to phone home. Fear not, they get cuter. Ultrasounds aren't just for showing you how cute your baby is. They monitor your baby's development and growth. Of course, there are other ways to do this, but trust me, getting an MRI of your baby is far more traumatizing. At this point, you've been through a lot with your little bun in the oven, so it's time to party. The baby shower. A chance for your friends and family to shower you with gifts and advice. Did you know that gathering with loved ones during pregnancy can actually reduce stress and improve mental well-being? So enjoy that cake guilt-free. It's good for your mental health. Just be prepared for that one aunt who insists on sharing her 48-hour labor horror story while you're opening baby booties. While we're on the topic of those adorable baby booties, let's talk about nesting instincts. Yes, it really is a thing. The inexplicable urge to clean and organize everything in sight. You'll find yourself alphabetizing your spice rack and color coding baby onesies. Who knew a pregnant lady could out-organize Marie Kondo? Actually, your nesting instinct is your body's way of preparing for your baby's arrival. It's like a built-in to-do list that ensures your home is ready for the new addition. While you're nesting, you might even find yourself packing and repacking the hospital bag. This is one of those things you don't want to forget. It's like packing for vacation, but instead of a swimsuit, you're bringing adult diapers. Did you know that packing it ahead of time reduces last minute stress? If you didn't, you should have. Have you never packed a bag last minute and about lost your mind? No? You're a better person than I am. Be prepared with essentials and some comfort items to make your hospital stay smoother. Be sure to include snacks because, trust me, hospital food won't cut it. And dads, you need one too. Labor isn't typically a super fast process, so bring something to keep yourselves entertained and comfortable. (sighs) Finally, the big moment, labor and delivery. You'll hear phrases like epidural and crowning, and you'll probably say a few choice words you didn't know in your vocabulary. Crowning means that your baby's head is stationary in the birth canal and an epidural is an injection in your back to stop you feeling pain in parts of your body. But it is worth noting that sometimes it'll only take on one side or not at all. Did you know that laughter can actually help manage pain? So feel free to tell a few jokes or watch your favorite comedy show while in labor. Laughter is your secret weapon. And remember, in the end, you'll have a tiny, wonderful bundle of screaming joy and it's all worth it. There you have it, the hilarious and heartwarming journey of what to expect when expecting, sprinkled with some fascinating health facts. Remember, pregnancy is a roller coaster ride of emotions and surprises, 
but it's also a journey filled with love, laughter, and some seriously weird cravings. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep calm, laugh on, and get ready to welcome that little bundle of joy into the world.